How are you doing campers? Gary here from Camping Guru UK. So a short while ago I made a video about a tent I bought. A tent I bought for £28. And that tent was a sill nylon. All in one. So outer, inner, pitched together. Um, weighed about 1.7 kilos. And... It had a aluminium frame, and it was all right. It wasn't too bad. Um, I thought it was amazing value for twenty-eight pounds. So I made the video. I thought, yeah, it'll do for you know when friends want to borrow a tent, um, they can use it. I left it up in the garden for about a week. It rained on it bit blowy it was okay it stayed waterproof did move around quite a bit because the pole system on it was uh, about seven and a half mil um one of those sort of pole systems where in the center at the top it had a a, a little hub so all the poles went into one section but after about a week i came out and all of these little clips these little clips that go on the poles well let's just uh, show you all right you see now that's just broke rubbish absolute rubbish um and they'd all broke so i got in touch with the people we bought it from uh off ebay and they really didn't want the tent back um, and it would have cost more in shipping and God knows what, a lot of hassle. So they gave me an allowance from that £28. I think I got 12 quid. 12 quid. And I thought for £12, what I'll do is I'll just change all of those crappy little brackets to these plastic ones, which you can buy um, from Amazon. And I think they cost me just a few quid. So nice and easy. I swapped them all out. And there you go. And I've just changed those. Nice and easy. But then that got me thinking. The frame on it, the aluminium poles, the 7.5 mils weren't that great. So I already had a 9.5mm uh, alley pole so i bought another one and i changed the frame changed the pole system completely as you can see all i've done at the top there is just got some clips this pole just sits across the top but that's fine and i tell you what it was blowing a bit today it was a rock solid absolutely rock solid so then I had a look at the guy ropes and there you go. That's the sort of guy rope that comes with it that just ties off where those clips are. There isn't actually a, a dedicated place for the guy ropes to go to. So just normal basic guy ropes with basic sliders. So I changed those for some Dyneema ones which are great because they don't suck up any water and i've made it so it's like a, a v shape um, i've basically taken inspiration from you know tents like terra nova hilliberg and i'm not saying this is a terra nova or hilliberg uh, competitor but what i've spent now on this tent I already had that pole, so the extra pole was about a tenner, a couple of clips, um, and I got 12 quid off of that, so what, about 16, 20? Again, it's cost me, I don't know, 30, 35 quid for a, a tent that now weighs about 1.85 kilos, because um, I've changed the pegs out. Oh, and I've also added some uh, different fittings down the bottom here because you used to just peg it out through there. I've now changed that to uh, this sort of system. Uh, what else? Yeah, I changed the pegs as well. So yeah, for about 35 quid now, I've got a sill 
nylon tent that seems perfectly waterproof with a rock solid, well, you know, fairly rock solid frame, uh, new pegs, and I've put it in a stuff sack, and uh, yeah, I think it will do the job great. What you might want to do is go and watch the video that I made um, previous to this one uh, about w when it was in its original form. Um, that'll give you a few more details on it. But some of the things I love, you know, you've got a door here on the other side of the tent. The door is on the far side. So if the wind's coming from a particular direction, it should be okay. Uh, that's not ideal down here, the way it rises up. Certainly no four season tent, but I think I might change those out to uh, more adjustable um, fixings. But yeah, plenty big enough for, for two people to sleep in uh, without any kit. Ideal for one person. Um, at some point, I'm going to take it up in the hills and uh, see what it's like in some windy weather. Um, take it to a place where if the worst comes the worst, I'll just pack up and head back down to the car. A bit of wild camping or something. But I think now this is uh, sort of giving me ideas how to sort of upgrade tents. And if it uh, gives anyone else any ideas on what to do, then great. Because you can turn a real cheap tent that has the basics into, I don't know, pretty good tent. So, there you go. That's Gary from Camping Guru UK. Hope you enjoy it and maybe inspired to do something like that yourself. Again, with all of our videos, if you want to like it, like it. If you want to subscribe, great. If you don't, don't. As long as you enjoy the video, that's all that matters. Cheers.